Music Master version 7 is one of our biggest releases yet, beginning with a brand new look and feel to powerful new developments like virtual search depths. Let's take a look at the many new features you'll find in version 7. When you first launch Music Master, you'll see the new welcome screen. You can open a new database or quickly select from the most recent databases you've had open. You'll also have quick access to many Music Master resources, including links to new training videos, blog articles, and the latest news and updates. We've given Music Master 7 a modern facelift with brand new colors and icon styles. In fact, there are a number of different themes you can pick from. To help you customize your styles even further, we've added a new category color wizard that automatically assigns the selected color palette to your categories. Not only can you change color and style, you can also change your layouts. We've made it even easier to arrange panels by giving you docking stickers that appear as you drag the panel. You can also pin the panels on the main program window so they'll roll up, giving you even more screen space. In version 7, we make it even easier to add your own custom database fields. You can add as many as 255 fields of whatever type you need. With the new field editor, you can now edit checkbox fields right on the grid, quickly adjusting the primary and secondary fields, along with hidden and search options. Have you taken advantage of user tools yet? These are custom buttons you create that launch applications or websites from within Music Master. With version 7, you can now add as many user tools as you'd like. The icons will now be on their own menu, which can be docked separately from the main toolbar as well as turned on or off. Once you've opened the library, you can now quickly add more categories to the list in the view by holding down the control key while double-clicking the new category in the info bar. Sometimes you just need to find the songs that sound like the one you're already looking at. The new Find Similar option will look for songs with similar qualities based on attribute fields you've specified in your database field manager. Library Coding Analysis now has a pie graph display available to make it easy for you to visually see percentages and get a better feel for the makeup of your library. We've also made enhancements to trivia. The trivia icon will now turn green when a song has either keyword or song trivia associated with it. When you open the trivia editor, you'll see all the related trivia in a single glance. Have you ever used virtual shows? A virtual show is a single song card that contains an ordered list of songs you always want to play together, such as multiple movements of a classical work or a song and a piece of imaging that introduces it. With version 7, we've made setting up virtual shows significantly easier. If you've added a virtual show field to your library already, you can simply select multiple songs in your library and then use the new right-click menu option to create virtual show. It will add up the run times and create the new song card for your virtual show in the category you specify. Managing your rotations is your main priority, so when you're told that you can only play songs for a certain contract period, you can now use the new AirPlay Contracts option to ease your mind. Many programmers use auto-platooning to add variety by scheduling a regular exchange of songs between active and resting categories. Which songs are moved is determined by the Move By option. If you choose Move Date, Music Master will take the songs that have been in the category the longest. Category Plays will move the songs with the most plays. With version 7, you can now set a different Move By option for the source and the destination categories. For example, you can move songs out based on category plays and bring them back in based on move date. Moving on to format clocks, you'll find many new time-saving enhancements. You can use the new clock editor options to filter the elements shown in the format clock editor. You'll be able to determine what types of elements are displayed as well as hide unused columns. The Clock Editor Quick Change column is one of the new clock options you can enable. Using codes, you can now quickly enter clock elements with your keyboard. There are codes for every element type. 
To further speed up your workflow, the Info Bar Clocks tab now has an Elements tab, so you can drag an element into the clock and automatically open its properties. You can also drag elements within the clocks to new positions and use basic keyboard commands to copy, paste, delete, and insert. You can even copy and paste or drag elements between two open clocks. And when you do copy elements, all associated properties will be copied too. You can now also use the pointer column to select multiple elements to clone or delete. The new show type clock element is for users who schedule in blocks or shows. Any elements that go into the space between these markers will be considered a show. You'll be able to view, copy, print, and export these shows as individual units. We want you to have all the information you need at your fingertips. If you use library query elements, you'll now see a balloon tip that shows the details. You can also find matching songs on all song type elements by right-clicking and selecting that option. Finally, if you want to create a new version of your clock but keep some of the same elements, you can make changes and select Save As to save the new version while retaining the original. Moving on to the Schedule Editor. You'll see a brand new schedule calendar that has been designed to give you even more information about your logs. You'll find more detailed indicators for which days have been exported, reconciled, and more. You can configure the operation buttons you want to include, such as export to automation, and the badges you want to see on each day, like whether the log has been printed. You'll even see information down to the hour level. We've also reconfigured the calendar as a tab you can leave open. The Schedule Clone feature contains new options that allow you to copy specific element types from the source to the destination hours. Only need the music elements? No problem. There are even options to append the cloned elements to an hour or remove extra elements. There is an Edit Helper button in Schedule Properties to assist you in setting the search depths. In version 7, you'll see a new option called Virtual Search Depth. This is a unique new development that we are very excited to introduce. With this option on, Music Master calculates and adjusts the search depth based on how difficult it is to find a new song for each element. This means that Music Master may not have to search as deeply for some positions, resulting in a log that schedules much more quickly while still getting the results you expect. While in Schedule Properties, you'll also be able to edit the values in the Pass Order column to make it easier to put multiple categories in the same pass, as well as quickly copy and paste settings from one level to another. History snapshots can now be activated when a log is finished scheduling, when running Export to Automation, and after log reconciliation. If you unschedule a log, you'll also be able to remove any history snapshots that cover the time period that is being unscheduled. We've also added a custom user hotkey option to create a history snapshot of the date you're editing. Finally, while in the history snapshot report, you'll find a new print icon. If you want to learn more about these new features or any other Music Master tools, you can explore the completely rewritten help system. It contains new content and training videos for selected topics. To get started with version 7, click Help, check for updates, or download the latest installer on the support portal of our website. If you have any questions, please contact your music scheduling consultant.